Umar ibn al-Khattab came in with wealth. And he was so happy that day because there was competition in goodness. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us that if you want to compete with one another, you compete with one another in doing good deeds, not in materialistic items. So this was to spend in the cause of Allah. Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu said, today I'm going to beat Abu Bakr, which means I will be spending more than him this day. So when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam asked Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu, what did you spend? What have you left for your family members? He said, oh messenger, I have left half of my wealth for them. And he was happy because he made a dua to Allah, Ya Allah accept it from me. And in his heart he said, today I will have spent more than Abu Bakr because I have spent 50% of all my wealth. And later comes along Abu Bakr as-Siddiq, Abdullah ibn Uthman radiallahu anhu. He comes along and he says, here is what I have to donate for this particular battle, O Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asks him, O Abu Bakr, what have you left for your family? And he says, O Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I have left Allah and his Messenger, subhanallah. Which means this is 100% of my wealth. I've put it in front here, 100%. What we are going to have for the next meal, Allah will provide, no problem. Subhanallah. Look at the conviction the man had. This was the best of those to tread the earth after the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One narration says that Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu will be the first to enter Jannah from amongst the men of my ummah.